everyone. Long time no see. Um, I have some news, but by the time you see this, um, it'll be farther along. Um, I just found out I am pregnant. Um, was it planned? Kind of. <laughs> um, James and I were, um, we're starting to try and then realize that maybe right now would not be the right time and that um, we would stop trying and, you know, wait until we were um, a little bit more stable. Um, not saying that we're not super stable now, just we're having a little bit of financial struggles, but as any couple pretty much does, unless you're rich, but even if you're rich, I've heard, you know, people still have financial difficulties. So we were like, all right, you know what? Um, we're gonna actually put this on hold and whatnot. And uh, well, I guess the Lord or the powers that be felt like this was the right time because I got pregnant like that. Um, very few people know. Uh, obviously James knows. My best friend knows and my mother knows. That's pretty much it because I had to tell somebody. Um, I am four weeks, six days today. I'll be five weeks tomorrow. Um, it has not yet been confirmed by um, the doctor or anything, just uh, the ear home pregnancy test. And I, my last missed period, or my last period was the 18th of, or no, sorry, the 19th of October. I was supposed to get it the 18th of September. Um, today is the 21st of September. I, I started to feel like that it was a good possibility probably at about a week and a half before my period was due. So I went out and got grabbed a bunch of dollar tests and uh, EPT three pack. And I was testing about every other day. And I got my first very, very faint line on the so, no, the 11. Extremely faint, can barely see it, kind of had to squint. Um, showed it to James, and he's like, ah, no, that's nothing. That's just an, like an evaporation line or something, or that, that's a line that you see whether the test is taken or not. I'm like, no, it's not. And so we actually put a bet on it at $5. I'm like, babe, I'm telling you, it's positive. He's like, no, it's not. Yeah, James, it is. So, and then I got my strong line, a stronger line on the 15th. Still light, but it was stronger. Um, and then I actually tested the 18th, which was uh, when my period was due. And it was very much there. I mean, it was a very much a positive uh, result. So, according to my last month's period and uh, a bunch of apps and due date predictors and all that good stuff, it says I am due May 26th. And now, you won't normally hear this from anybody, but I'm actually hoping I go late, um, about, about four to five days late. Um, and I've never actually gone into labor on my own, except for with Zachariah. Um, Jordan was induced two weeks late. Zach, um, Zach I don't remember very clearly, but if I remember right, I just started having the contractions, my water never broke or anything like that, and then we went to the hospital and we had him, and he was a week late. And Draven was, like, wow. I'll have to double check with my back videos, but I believe he was a week late and he was induced because I went for my non-stress test and they uh, thought that he was in distress, so they induced me. So all my kids have come late, so to actually have a child before or on my due date is unlikely. But I actually want to go late because my birthday is May 30th and Zachariah's birthday is May 3rd. Um, so I'd actually like this one to be born in June. Um, 
but then I want to be in the hospital on my birthday. <laughs> I mean, of course, you know, whenever this child, as long as everything sticks and everything goes well, as long as this child is happy and healthy and has no problems, and there goes my husband. I'll be happy. Even if I'm on the hospital on my birthday. If I could choose when this child was born, I'd say like June 1st or, you know, June 2nd through 3rd, whatever. Um, actually, if he was born the 3rd, it would be funny because then Jordan would be the only one who was born on um, something other than the 3rd because Zach is the 3rd of the month, Draven is the 3rd of the month. And then if this one was born on the third of the month, there'd be three of them. It's kind of like my best friend who, all of her children except for one, so far, have been born on the first of a month. But her her son was born September 1st, her daughter was born April 1st, and then her youngest son was born um, October 11th, so it's always been a one, which is kind of funny. And now she's pregnant with number four, and... Uh, so they're planning on taking a baby early, but that's a whole other different story and ball game. But um, as for uh, pregnancy-related symptoms and stuff, I'm extremely nauseous. In fact, I have a can of ginger ale. I don't know how well you can see that. Seagram's ginger ale. Because um, <laughs> so I'm extremely nauseous, and I don't really get morning sickness. So this, you know, kind of catches me off guard, but, um, so yeah, um, what else? I'm like craving pepper chicani peppers, pepper chicani peppers, whatever. I have to have them. I mean, I could go through a jar a day. Um, luckily they're not really expensive, but when you're buying a lot at once, it can add up. Uh, obviously they're about $2 a jar, which like I said, isn't really that bad. But if I can go through a jar or two a day, it adds up. So I'm trying, I'm trying desperately not to buy too many of them and not to eat so much because I don't want to go broke just buying these damn peppers that I feel like I have to have. So there's that. Um, let's see. Crave, just the cravings and that I'm nauseous. That's about it for like symptoms or whatever. Um, Jordan knows. Um, I didn't tell him, but I quit smoking. I've been drinking much more water versus soda because I'm a Pepsi drinker, like you wouldn't believe. Um, let's see what else. I'm just all around eating healthier and trying to be healthier. And Jordan's nine years old. And, you know, I know he's smart, but I never knew he'd be able to pick this out. And he's like, Mom, you're pregnant. No, Jordan, what are you talking about? I'm not pregnant. You're pregnant. You're eating water. You're drinking water. You're quit smoking. You're pregnant. Jordan, no, I'm not, because I don't want him knowing yet, because who knows what's going to happen. I've had a miscarriage before um, at 10 weeks. Actually, if I remember right, the baby passed at 6 weeks. Or I lost the baby at six weeks, but it was my 10-week ultrasound that I found out um, he had stopped, he or she had stopped growing, and that uh, there was no heartbeat. So, and I actually passed around 10 weeks. So, so you know, that's why you know I don't want to say yes, yeah, sir, Jordan, I'm pregnant, and then God forbid something happen. And I have to tell him, okay, the baby died. I don't, I don't want to have to, you know, hurt him like that. But he swears upside down and sideways I'm pregnant. He's way too smart for his own good. I mean, it's insanely smart. Um, now, we told Draven. I mean, Draven's two, so it's not like he really understands what's going on right now. Um, I asked, do you want to be a big brother? He goes, big brother, Jordan. So that's, that's how he sees it. He knows that Jordan's his big brother. He doesn't understand that, you know, um, that he's going to be a big brother. But, uh, so there's that. Uh, what else? 
course, I want a little girl. I have three boys, but I have no high hopes with my track record. Um, not only that, I looked at the Chinese gender predictor or whatever, and it says boys. And it's been right with every single one of my boys. I know there's always a 50-50 chance, but it's always been right. So, again, that's another reason I don't have high hopes for a girl, although it would be awesome. Um, I, my pre-pregnancy weight is 245. Um, I haven't gained anything yet. Um, thank God. I, I think it'd be way too early to start gaining weight anyways. Um, but, yeah. And then I just all over feel like, oh, yucky. Um, so that's another symptom, I guess. But by the time you see this, I'll probably be at least 10 to 12 weeks along. But I will still keep recording um, these little updates, whatever. I'll probably do them, you know, on the week. So I'll probably start a week from tomorrow, which is Saturday. Um, yeah. Right. So... The next video you'll see, it will be my six week uh, vlog. Oh, and, and I, I don't know if I said it or not, because I'm a bit scatterbrained, but um, I haven't yet confirmed it by a doctor. I've just taken home pregnancy tests. Um, but uh, I have an appointment on the 27th to have a ultrasound to confirm uh, pregnancy. So hopefully that'll all go well. Um, I haven't had no spotting, no bleeding, no nothing yet. But that would make me believe that, you know, I'm in a dream and this isn't really happening. Uh, so, I guess here, uh, here we go. And this is the start of Anna Maria Christine's baby number four pregnancy blog. I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm so in shock. All right, everybody. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.